Well, just recently, a ranking official or a boss within the Witcher Blood Origin is talking about possibly having more seasons continu continuing these characters' futures. But this is coming out after the fact that the show came out this past Sunday on Christmas Day and being review bombed to oblivion because of the fans not agreeing or liking the show at all. And yet, here we are with one of the series' bosses talking about and teasing that there could be more seasons or more spin-offs to this universe. Here, I'll show you this clip, and as we're going through it, I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts. Series, but I'm sure that the fans are going to watch this and they're going to want more. Do you have any desire to continue on in this story in any way, or are there any characters who you would love to explore more in the future? There is a ton of characters I'd love to explore. Well, you know what? Clearly the fans didn't enjoy it when this show came out, as we could see with the reviews, so there's nothing special about that. But what's coming up is very interesting, as this guy thinks that he loves the story. You know, I'll just show you. Just yeah. Here it's go. a ton of storylines I'd love to explore, whether it be in anime or live action or comics, anything. I love this world. I would keep working on it in a heartbeat. Are there any characters in particular that you could single? So he says that he loves this world, and still continues to butcher the living crap out of it with not sticking to the books and the uh, source material that has been given to them. And within my past few videos, I even showed you examples of how terrible the show looks. The acting is awful. As well as the CGI and prosthetics, whatever they're using looks absolutely terrible. If someone who truly cared about the IP of The Witcher, they would make sure that the show would be top top notch and not what it is as of it is right now. So, released on Boxing Day on Netflix, the show boasts a cast of talented actors. From Michelle Yaw to Sophia Brown, Lawrence O'Froren, friend... Okay, I cannot pronounce many of these people's names. But, I can tell you that many people, even within the reviews, are saying that the acting is terrible. So, when it's saying... When this article is saying that they're talented actors, it is not true at all. As we continue down, so the heads of this article spoke to several of the stars that are within the show, and here are some of the things that they have to say. There's a ton of characters I would love to explore. There's a ton of storylines I'd love to explore, whether it be an anime or live actions or comics. Anything, D. Klanet responded. And this is the guy that we just watched, who is a higher up within the show and even though he's saying all these things that he truly cares about the show, it it's the opposite of it. He doesn't give a damn about it at all. Continue on. I love this world. I'll keep working at it in a heartbeat. Yeah, you'll keep working at it in a heartbeat to make sure that you add stuff that you like and not actually stick into what was uh, to what the story was meant to be. Instead of adding on to it and completely ruining it and butchering it. When questioned further on whether there were any characters in particular he was keen to explore, he added, anyone that survives. Yeah, anyone that survives of them even trying to get a season 2. Hopefully, this show doesn't get a season 2 at all, hopefully. For, when, for anyone who's seen The Witcher Blood Origin, they'll know that several of the main characters survive the end. Including Francesca, who plays Meldoff, Hugh, who plays Brother Death, Lizzie Annis, who stars as Zakair, and Zack Wyatt, who portrays Sindril. When asked if she would be open to reprising her role, Francesca replied, I'd run at the chance. Yeah, of course. I'd be first in line. I'd be like, oh, please let me be in the next one. When, in fact, that none of these actors most likely have zero to no knowledge about the Witcher series. Probably never even read the books or never even played the games. And here they are wanting to be in something that they're not familiar with at all. And that's what made Henry Cavill stand out, because he truly enjoyed the Witcher IP. He's played the books, he's talked about, uh, he's played the game, sorry, and he's talked about the books, and how he admires, admires it. And yet, we are seeing him leave because of creative differences, because the showrunners don't give a damn 
once again. I'd love it. It would be awesome. Any excuse to work with these beautiful people again. Hugh added, I absolutely love Brother Death, so to be given the opportunity just to step into his shoes one more time would be an absolute joy and a pleasure for sure. Meanwhile, Lizzie and Zach were both empathetic that they'd both happily come back, as the former said, absolutely, in one word. Absolutely, nothing could keep me away, really, while the latter chimed in to say, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, we all want to continue on making a stupid show that the fans don't enjoy. Yeah, absolutely, let's keep doing it. During their recent interview, co-showrunner Lauren Schmidt Hisrick explained that Deacon purposely left characters in places where you want to know what happens next. Look, I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't want to know what happens next. I already know what happens next because of the reviews and how terrible it is. I don't want to know anything else. Declan added to express.co.uk, I thought it would be great if we finished on this unresolved note. We don't know what happens to some of these characters, but we fall in love with them a little. A little? I don't think no, no one has fallen in love with any of the characters because of, how, because of how poorly written they are and acted. And this is just showing you that when you have people in charge with an IP that many beloved, but the people in charge of it don't beloved, it, it spirals out of control and often ends up being like crap and so I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this about having a higher up teasing of him working with other uh, storylines being anime and such or possibly even having another season of this limited run series I'd like to get, hear you guys' thoughts on that and I hope you guys subscribe and I'll catch you all on the next one bye bye